Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are looking at the ZH-25 Questor class light freighter. Uh, this was a light freighter designed by Starfield Industries. Uh, their little slogan is, why other spacers are grounded in the hangar, you'll be making money. All right, so looking at the characteristics right up that we have here on Wikipedia. Uh, the ZH-25 was inspired by the massive success of the earlier Z-10 Seeker model that had that, that had spawned um, and was in many ways an improvement of that model as it improves more uh, or provided more cargo space, better life support involving no less than 55 different bio, uh, bio technologies and better armaments. The cluster model also fitted with 75 Imperial Mark IV fuel cells, giving it an average endurance of almost three standard months instead of the uh, Nova, Nova Delex uh, JV71 ion engine of the Z10 and uh, the Z, ZH25 was fitted with a more powerful JV74 ion engine, which had three additional Constellation two pairs, uh, but given its relatively larger size and weight, the ZH-25 was slightly slower in sub sublight than the Z-10. The ZH-25 was armed with twin fire-linked pulse laser uh, pulse laser cannons of the Tame Tame and Box design, which were located on either side of the main fuselage. The ship. Uh, of the ship near the cargo pods. Uh, they only fired to the front of the fighter, or freighter, I'm sorry, uh, but the ship was maneuverable enough to allow the pilot to get into position for a shot. The ship also uh, was also equipped with the surplex P-12 shield generator. In addition to the standard armament, uh, weapons modifications were quite common. One of the more popular ones being forward concussion missile launchers, and rear laser turrets. Uh, all the improvements came at the cost of the sensor system uh, as the Quester model was equipped with a slightly weak, uh, weaker Soros Sub Corporation sensor package. Um, this was really designed for West End Games by West End Games. Um, for the pirates and privateers and stock ships, we actually get a good picture and um, uh, a layout design from stock ships uh, and stock ships also gave us a nice little card format uh, for the quester as well so looking at what we have for the zh25 quester uh, this is a general alignment so this could be used by any group commonly um, it was during the rebellion era uh, this source comes from the pirates and privateers uh, it is considered a light freighter. Uh, it is 22.4 meters long, uh, has a crew of one, passengers of six, so really good for a small group because you can have just a single pilot, uh, but you can have six passengers here. Cargo capacity is 85 metric tons, uh, consumables for three months. Brand new, you're looking at 136,000 credits or... If you're getting it used, 89,000 credits. Has a times one hyperdrive and a times 12 backup hyperdrive. Of course, we're going to see a nav computer on a freighter like this, so that's pretty common. Maneuverability being 2D, so not too bad. It's right about our average. Uh, has a space of five. Uh, atmosphere, we can go 850 kilometers an hour. Has a hull of four, shields of 1D, so not the best shields in the world, but it is something there to help protect us. Okay, and our sensor packet. Now remember, uh, this is to be less than what the Z10 Seeker, not that we ourselves have actually approached that ship quite yet, but here we are uh, looking at the sensor package that we have. Passively, we can go one, one and a half kilometers at zero D. Uh, we can do an active scan out to three kilometers at a one, one D uh, additional die roll. Um, our search can go out to five kilometers with a 2D additional die roll, 
and our focus is 200 meters with a 3D additional die roll. Uh, our weapons for stock is the two laser cannons that are fire linked, and I kind of didn't pop up there um, to fix, but fire linked. Um, this is at Star Starfighter or Starship uh, scale. Starship Starfighter scale has a fire control of 2D and a damage of 5D. So not too bad for a stock ship. Um, yeah, if you get into a star uh, a firefight with someone, you're going to have to maneuver this around very much like a regular starfighter. But um, for that, yeah, you're probably going to want to see about figuring out where you can put a, um, a turret of some sort. So, uh, but there again, if you throw a turret in, you're going to need an extra crew member so that way they can actually man the turret. So that does increase your, your size here for your crew. Okay, deck plans. So looking at this, we do have our cockpit in the front, as usual. But this, um, unlike the YT series where it might be on the left side, the right side, or port and starboard, um, or in the center, um, this one is strictly in the center. Uh, we do have storage right behind the cockpit, off in a, in a locker here. We have a refresher as well. And then we have four is our tech center. So... Next to our storage, we're going to have tech center along that wall. Five is a laser cannon access hatch going down. So um, if you need to, it's not turreted itself, but if you did need to uh, do some work on it, that's the hatch there. Okay. Six is our entry ramp. So uh, going straight back from the cockpit, it is there is a door offset here. So you're not walking straight into that. Um, and then seven is our loading bay. Um, and it is kind of interesting how they had kind of done, I don't know if this would be a loading droid or their version of what a forklift would look like in Star Wars. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, but going straight back, we have, this is 12. These are our cargo bays. And then 13 is our engineering bay going into our engine uh, our engine systems here in between our uh, cargo bays now going off to our left side so i believe that is our port so we have our 11 which is our crew bunks in front of that we have a captain's quarters and then eight so in the front of each of those little fingers jutting out there those are our escape pods uh, 14 are ex external cargo pods. So these are holdover from the, the Z10 clusters, okay? And I believe each one of those could actually carry, I think, 50 metric tons. Um, seeing that we're talking about this, um, I'm going to try and take a quick look and see if I can't find the Z10 cluster. Um Actually, I suppose if I was doing this correctly, um, I could look this up, and my little mind is not uh, finding it offhand. Uh, Z10, 73. Okay, trying to find the right page here so we can get find out exactly how big those pods are. Here's the Z10. Dun, 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 dun. All right. I don't know if I'm on the right one or not. Nope. Okay. Z10, a seeker. Um, just trying to do a little comparison here. Um, so I do want to shout out and say that our uh, cargo pods here, okay, because this would be the same. Uh, let's see. All difficulty numbers are modified um, to add a plus 10 with, without the cargo pods. Space increases uh, plus 2, and maneuverability increases a 1D plus 1. So this is something that I don't think we have here. Um, just trying to say that our...
my mind is is looking at, at stats here and I'm trying to okay so uh, for the ZH25 because it has a cargo pod so that's going to work the same way our cargo pods uh, when we don't have them equipped on there our maneuverability is going to go up to a up a 1d plus one so um, kind of flipping back here so our maneuverability which is a 2d would would then turn out to being a uh, 3d plus one without the cargo pods um, and then when I get back here um, and our space would actually go up by two uh, let's see here I got different tabs down here and I'm trying to hit the right one okay because this is what you're seeing um, so our space here is and our space is five so without the pods it would be a seven so um, keep that in mind if we don't have these pods on there now we do lose a little bit of cargo capacity which is what I'm really trying to find out how much these are it's not seen at the moment and we may have to look that up in pirates and privateers so let's say the cargo capacity is 45 metric tons for the z10 but i know that the um actually let me see if i have the book behind me there's pirates and privateers so this is uh let's see I'm looking at the wrong page here for the Z10. It says 6364. Because uh, it might actually have here. All right. So it's right up for the Quester. Is realizing a market for the freighters. Uh, that they had stumbled upon, Starfield quickly designed a dedicated freighter using the Seeker as a as a model, and el eliminated most of the Seeker's flaws. Uh, resulting freighter, the Quester, is a slightly faster than the industry standard and armed well enough to defend itself from modern dangers. Okay, but what I'm not seeing here is about the cargo pods, which just something I didn't realize about before. I knew the Seeker had it, but I really wasn't looking at the at the picture to say that yeah, it had the same cargo pods. Um, and it doesn't have it listed here. So this is really where, where things get a little mucky. Um, Looking at the books behind me, that's that's where things kind of get. <laughs> all right. So while I'm trying to find all this, because um, I do have it as a PDF here, so I know I can look it up. Um, oops, stock ships. Okay. And then we got to find our seeker. That's our seeker right here. Okay, uh, the cargo pods are standard. They hold 20 tons. So a little bit of looking around, but we, we did get there. Um, so yeah, uh, 20 tons for each pod. And it's got two of them. So uh, these are gonna be extra. So that's not even included onto our 85 metric tons here. So now that takes us up to 100 and 125 metric tons for the cargo, um, which is really kind of nice to, to know. Um, let's see. I think we had we have gallery, galley and common room here on nine. So on our port side, we have we have that, and then we have our escape pod in front of that. Um, yeah, and I think we hit everything here. So. Another interesting ship, not a, a very commonly seen ship outside of doing it in a role-playing game. Um, and the, here again, it, it introduces another corporation that's making 
ships. Uh, so it's another name that we could throw out for making something else later on, um, looking at it in, in those regards. So with that, hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.